This is a solid chunk of sodium metal. This stuff is number 11 on the periodic table of elements, and it is extremely reactive if it comes in contact with water. So a few months ago, one of you left a comment asking me to flush a piece of sodium down a toilet, which seems like a ridiculous request, but I have got Cody from Cody's lab to come out here with his infamous mercury flushing toilet so we can put that experiment to the test. So this is the same toilet I used for my flushing mercury experiment. I've cleaned out all the mercury and uh, now I've got a spare toilet, so may as well put it to good use. Now if you take a quick look at sodium, it's a very bendy, very flexible metal. I kind of think it's about the hardness of beeswax. Sodium metal is incredibly reactive. It only has one electron in its outer shell, and so it's actually higher on the activity series than hydrogen. Now, most people will store sodium in a container of oil because it prevents an oxide layer from forming. Now, I just kept mine kind of in a jar, so you can see it's got that crusty coating. But if we take a knife, we can cut this open, and for a brief second, you can see that shiny metal, but within seconds, you can see it's oxidizing and forms that white, scaly exterior coating. Now, sodium metal does not like to be confined. This piece is only the size, a little bit bigger than a marble, but if we throw this into the toilet and then drop a block of wood on top, it creates enough pressure and enough heat quickly, the wood will get blasted back out 10 to 20 feet in the air, no problem. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Delayed reaction, but that worked. I think it like bounced around and it finally landed on top of it. Yeah! <laughs> It's like a good 30, 30 feet from the flush zone. And if you feel this block of wood, it's actually really slippery, really slimy. So check this out, we rigged up this contraption. It's just a long piece of PVC pipe so we can flush the toilet from about 10 feet away. He's gonna drop this into the toilet bowl. We're gonna let it fizz around for a bit and then we're gonna flush it and see what happens. Here we go. I can hear it crackling and fizzing. All right, flush it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's what you call explosive experience on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. This is the biggest chunk of sodium I've ever thrown into water, so a little bit nervous about this one. We're definitely flushing this from a distance. And I think I'm gonna actually have Cody throw it in this time. Go for the swoosh. <laughs> that reaction actually was pretty cool. That was fun. <laughs> this time we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna flush it and see if we can make it go off during the flushing process. I'm wondering if we should go a little bit bigger just to take it to the next level. This is the grand finale. We've got a whole handful of sodium here, like six chunks. I'm gonna throw them in, and at that exact moment, Cody is gonna flush, and hopefully we'll get some kind of epic reaction. You ready for this? Check that out, it's still smoking. We got fire. A little, oh! <laughs> right in my face, dang it. That was epic, oh my gosh. Guys, this is insane. Oh, we finally destroyed the toilet. <laughs> that used to be a toilet. Now it's a big mess that we need to clean up. I honestly have to say, I wasn't expecting that to go off. Like when you flushed it and nothing happened, I was just sitting there thinking, okay, another fail. And then boom. <laughs> Crazy! So we broke a toilet. I guess that's what happens when you flush a substantial amount of sodium down it. This is not something that you want to try at home. This is for demonstrational and educational purposes only. You can see this is pretty dangerous stuff and it is reacting with our skin right now. It's probably turning my forehead into a bar of soap. But we did this for you guys. Thanks for the request. This is a ton of fun. I've never seen a toilet explode before. Anyway, huge thanks to my friend Cody for coming down here and making this possible, for sacrificing this toilet on our behalf. Luckily, he's got a backup, and we're gonna do a video on his channel flushing liquid nitrogen 
down a toilet. Yeah. Can the ceramic withstand liquid nitrogen? We're not sure, so we're gonna test that out. Go over to Cody's channel and check him out. Give him a subscribe, he's got some epic content. Thanks for joining us for this experiment. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. All right, let's clean up this mess. <laughs> you know, this toilet's got a lifetime warranty. I wonder if Home Depot will take it back.